Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here. Right, this is going to be a high-end shave for a low-class guy. <laughs> um, okay, all the products today are right up there. Uh, quite expensive, some of them, so yeah, I just thought, let's, uh, let's push the boat out a little bit and get rid of this uh, four or five days growth. Okay, let me show you the brush. Um, I have it soaking here in the Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. It's the uh, Simpsons Chubby 2 in uh, Super Badger. Yeah, you can see mine's has got a little nick out of the, the label there, but you can buy new labels, but I think it makes it unique. Yeah, it's a, so it's a Badger brush, it's been soaking. Um, yeah, I've not used this for a long time. I love it, good brush. So I'll just put that back in the water. The soap I purchased a while back, probably last maybe June or July, and I've never used it. Um, I bought it from Maggard's, Maggard Razors, and uh, Todd, Todd was coming across to the UK from the States, so I had it shipped to his house. I bought it, shipped it to his house, and he brought it across for me. Uh, and it's this Barrister and Man Seville. Uh, and this is in the Excelsior base. So here it is here, it says on the side there, citrus, herbs and oak moss. And the scent notes on this are lemon, bergamot, rosemary, lavender, patchouli and oak moss. It's their take on a barbershop scent. There's the soap there, brand new, unused. And it's fantastic, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is the Excelsior base, did I say that? I don't know. There's the ingredients you can pause and take a look. Yeah, so um, Barrister Man, looking forward to using this. Quite a hard soap in the tub. Oh, just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Yeah, so I've been after this for a while. So uh, I got the soap and I also bought the matching splash. And that shipped to Todd and Todd very graciously brought it across. So thank you, Todd. This is the first time using it, unbelievably. Oh, you're just using it now, I know. I've got a lot of soaps to get through, you you know that. Okay, let me show you the razor I'm going to be using. If you've seen the last video, uh, you've seen the unboxing of this razor. It's the Carbon uh, CX, Carbon CX 316L razor. And here it is here. Absolutely stunning, beautiful piece of work. Uh, let me just give it a whip. It's a little bit warm in this bathroom, so. It's getting steamed up, but it's a high polished, yeah, 316L marine grade stainless steel, all made in the USA in uh, Minneapolis. Beautiful, beautiful razor. Uh, Sean, who is the owner of Carbon Shavings, very kindly sent this to me to try out. Uh, he contacted me and said, would you like to try the razor? Look at that. Look at the workmanship on that. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, beautiful handle, great weight. I'll put the product uh, details, uh, a little picture from the website, and I'll put the product, the tech specs, the, the weight of all this, I'll put that on the screen right now. Okay, so here's the razor here. That was all the specs. Um, three piece, comes apart like that. There's a little uh, black rubber ring on there. I'll take this apart. There is the underside of it. Yeah, all very nicely uh, etched. There's the, the top cap. Yeah, this is based on the old Gillette Tech with these um, chevron or triangle kind of lather channels, but really nice. Uh, and Sean very kindly included a pack of Astro blades and a pack of these Kai blades. So I'm going to use one of these. Uh, just take one out. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to put one of these in the razor. Just put that to the side. So there's the Kai blades there. A few guys know them, they're unbranded. I'll put this on here. 
How cool does that look? Just that razor like that. Looks great. Put that on, put the little black rubber washer on and screw the handle back in. And there is the blade there. All loaded and lined up beautifully. There is a, a little bit of overhang on this razor, quite a bit actually, as you can see at the sides there. Um, but obviously if it's based on the old tech, um, yeah, but it looks good, looks good. Okay, um, yeah, let's get loaded up with this, uh, with the Chubby 2 and the Seville. I'll just shake the brush out and we'll start loading it there. I might need to add some more water. This is a, a lather monster. The chubby too. <sighs> what a scent. Oh, I'm sweating already. Thinking of this high-end shave. How are your shaves going? You know, you, I've said this before, you don't have to use high-end products. You can get a just as good a shave uh, using budget-friendly razors and brushes and soaps, creams, whatever. I'm just going to put a little bit of water just on the top of the soap there. Yeah, there we go, look. Yeah, so um, this razor is, I think it's $249, $250 to buy. So expensive, but I want to speak about that throughout the shave. Um, oh, the scent on the soap. Absolutely amazing. Right, I think that's enough in the brush there. I'll wet the face. Take what's in the tub here. Yeah, it's a great scent on this uh, Barrister Man. It's like a spicy orange. Right. How are your shaves going? Good? How are you doing? Good? Good. Right, here we go. Chubby too. Just start painting this on. Just to get the lather started. And then we can add water and start swirling the brush. I was, um, I was <laughs> practicing, I was practicing with this brush um, over the Christmas holidays. Just, just uh, trying out some soaps and just using the brush, trying different techniques with water and stuff like that. Right, I'm going to add some water to this. Just drizzling it in like that. A magic potion and I discovered that if you do this with this brush because it's so dense so I'm just um, literally swirling the tips just swirling the tips of the brush and because the water's kind of down into the knot because I'm swirling it quite quickly, it kind of brings the water up to the top. And then, once I think that's enough, I'll just splay the brush. So just splaying the brush now on the face. Painting the lather on again, splaying it again. And again, 
just glue with the tips. Well, this brush feels great, really soft. Yeah, there's nothing better than putting a, a nice soft brush on your face with lather. That looks good. Happy with that to start with anyway. Yeah, look, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's set the brush here. Clear the lips, straighten this up here. I'll put some heat into this razor blade. Okay, carbon shaving CX316L. Here we go. With the Kai blade. safely say that's uh, destroyed that growth. Yeah, it's got a good balance to it. Well, I'll do the first pass first and then I'll discuss. Great feedback as well. Yeah. Rinses beautifully. Not a mark on it there. I have some thoughts on it already, but I'll keep them to the end of the first pass. That feels good. Yeah, the blink up on this is uh, 0 0.68. Right, first pass done. Let's have a, a feel it out. Feels great. Okay, let me rinse for, come back for pass number two, then I will share my thoughts on this razor. Here we go. Rinsing. Cold water. Okay, rinsed off. Back to the chubby too. With this wonderful soap um, from Barrister Mansville. Yeah, look, what did I tell you about being a lather hog? <laughs> this brush. But um, if there's anyone new to shaving, you don't have to have a thick lather for the, the, after the first pass. 
the, the first pass is just to make sure the lather gets right in between the bristles, especially if you have uh, a few days growth. But don't be afraid to go back to the soap if you need to, just to gather some more. Does that brush here look great? Okay, second pass across the growth. Okay, my thoughts on this razor, first pass, um, just judging it with um, similar stainless steel kind of higher end razors. Like the, uh, the Masamune Nodachi and the, the Home Like Start, uh, the Russian razor. I would say it feels as smooth as those razors, as efficient as those razors, but there's a little bit more blade feel. Maybe not as much as the Nodachi. Um, you can certainly feel the blade, but it doesn't feel, it's not threatening. It doesn't feel like it's like a lot of blade feel. It feels very smooth. Yeah, it feels uh, really smooth. Okay, so um, let me talk about the price of this. $250 for this razor. Now these guys, um, carbon shaving, they use UK, US or German uh, 316L marine grade stainless steel. Um, some people might say, well, I would never spend that much on a razor. Is it worth it? It's not worth it. It's, it's way too much money. That's like a, a couple of weeks grocery shopping or whatever. And people always say to me, do you think it's worth it? Well, as I always say, if you can afford it, and it works for you, it's worth it. Would I buy it? Probably would. I probably would. Um, I love all sorts of razors. I'm a collector, so... Um, is it worth it? In my opinion, if you can afford it and it works for you, yes, it's worth it. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Obviously, don't uh, think you have to have the latest and greatest thing, but this is a, a, an heirloom razor. You will be able to pass this on to family members. Um, it will last long after your eye are gone, probably, if you look after it. Yeah, so that's just my thoughts, but I'll speak about that a little bit more uh, in the third pass, but that's the second pass, done. I could probably stop there, <coughs> but let's go for the third pass against the growth, I'll rinse and I'll come back for that. Okay, rinsed off, right, what I'm going to do is, put a little bit of water on that soap and I'm just going to go back and gather some more. As I say, you don't have to get it spot on all the time. Go back to the puck if there's not enough, if you don't think there's enough soap in the brush, just go back to the puck. A little bit of water in there. There you go. Great scent on this soap. Yeah, so the, the price thing for me is uh, subjective. 
If you want to spend your money on it, go for it. You know, 250 dollars is a lot of money for some people, but um, I know guys that spend 200, 250 pounds on a night out, Saturday night or a Saturday, they go out for a meal, they get a taxi, they go out for a meal, they go out for drinks, they go to the casino, they get a taxi home and there's not much change out of uh, 250 quid. So there you go, that's a subjective thing for you. But um, here we go, pass number three with this wonderful Carbon CX316L. It's a bit of a mouthful, the, the name, but I like it. You know, of um, all the three passes, the against the growth one feels the smoothest. For some reason. Yeah, that feels really smooth. Very light touch. Again, it's rinsing beautifully well. Kai blades are good. Very nice. Great slickness on the soap as well. Yeah, and the uh, carbon shaving. Uh, they're against, well they're not against it, but they try to cut back on all plastics in their packaging. So if you if you look at the um, unboxing video, uh, there's no plastics, everything's kind of cardboard, paper, recyclable. Right, three passes done, let's have a little rinse and a feel about. Okay, that feels good, that feels good, that feels good. A little bit down here, tiny little bit there. Actually, this jawline that I usually always have to pick up is a BBS. A tiny little bit there and a bit around here. So I'll just uh, Yeah, you can hear that there. This is probably the quietest I've been in the shade for a long time. But I'm just really enjoying it. This handle is um, 
probably one of the, the comfiest handles I've used. Really good knurling. This bit in the middle, your, 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 your middle two fingers, or these two fingers here, fit in there perfect. Top finger goes on this bit of knurling here. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, even your, if you want to put your pinky there. I like to rest my pinky on the bottom. Put on the razor there. Okay. One tiny little bit there. That's it. Okay. Rinse that. Let's uh, see what this brush gives up. Look, quite a bit of water in there. Right, let's have a face wash with this. Seville. Oh, great scent. Right, okay. I'll have a face wash with this, leave it on, rinse out the gear, clean up everything out, and I'll be back for the post shave. Great shave, really, really nice. Comfortable, skin feels great, conditioned. Very good. Okay, on to the post shave. Going straight in for the splash. Barrister Man Seville. Uh, yeah. Nice restrictor in there. Good splash of that. A little tingle down here, every place else feels great. <sighs> oh, what a scent. Yep, let's go again. Yeah, there's, I think there's a little bit more, I can smell a little bit more like uh, lemon in the splash, as opposed to the soap. Well, it smells wonderful. And finish it off. Nivea Men Originals. Replenishing Post Shave Balm. I've not used Nivea for a long time. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Do I look uh, any more high end yet? No, I didn't think so. After that high end shave, maybe if I talked like this, that was an absolutely wonderful shave. Yes. Ah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I tell you something, if that Harry and Meghan had done one of these shades, it wouldn't be in half the bother they're in at the moment. But there you go, a wonderful high end shave for a low class gentleman. Kevy shaves. <laughs> Get out of here. Top hat and tails. When did you put that on? Nice. He's got a flippers on. You going swimming? Nice. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Beautiful, really nice. Okay, let me show you what I've used again in this high-end shave. Uh, the razor, wonderful. Carbon CX316L, um, three-piece, non-adjustable razor. Uh, yeah, really good. I've, I've spoken about the price point, stuff like that. Um, if you want to debate it, fine. Let's, uh, let's talk about things. But uh, there you go, beautiful razor. Inside that, a Kai. First use, brand new blade. Really smooth, a little bit more blade feel than um, I would say the Russian razor or like the game changer, stuff like that. But um, beautiful handle, really nice, nice snarling, beautifully made. Yeah, very good. Really liked it. The brush, thank you, Sean, for sending that. Uh, I really appreciate it. I will, tie, I will try the titanium handle uh, in the next shave when I use it. The brush. Simpsons Chubby 2 Super Badger. There it is, all cleaned out. Very good, good brush. Not used it for a long time. Really enjoyed it, super soft. 
Um, the soap, first time using this, Barrister Man Seville, fantastic. Um, I think this would be in the, the new, you know, if anyone's seen my video, uh, I'll put links for everything, I'll put a link for this video for the Super 6 soaps in your shave den. If I made a new list, this would be one of them, definitely. It's uh, just a beautiful barbershop scent. Well, it's not really a barbershop, it's their take on a barbershop scent, but it's, um, it's just, oh, it's just, it's unusual. There's nothing else like it. It's great, I love it. So we did three passes with that soap and brush, razor and blade. Uh, rinsed off, well I had a face wash, rinsed off with icy cold Scottish water. Post shave was Barrister Man Seville Splash. And finished it off with Nivea Men Originals Replenishing Post Shave Balm. And that ladies and gents is today's shave. Wonderful. Thank you very much for uh, watching it. Yeah, I just, um, some people say, this is an advert. People, are, you're making adverts. Well, of course it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm not advertising you to buy this. I'm sharing my thoughts about this razor. I'm letting you guys see it. Um, you know, I'll put links to websites. You can go and check them out. But at the end of the day, as I spoke to someone today about it, uh, I said, well, if people want to buy the razor at that price, fine. If they don't want to buy it, fine. I'm not going to grumble either way. I'm not going to say, well, you should or you shouldn't. You know, it's uh, every it's up to every individual. Everyone's situation is different. That's what makes life interesting, people. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I hope some of your shaves, I hope some of your shaves, I hope all your shaves are going really well. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of this weekend. Uh, um, yeah, enjoy it. Spend it with loved ones, chill out, do things that you want to do. If you don't want to do them, don't do them, don't do them. There's no point in wasting life doing things you don't want to do. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and until then, you take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. I love you all. See ya.